Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Artify contacted me and asked if I would like to show some of their markers on my channel. So I said, sure, why not? So I just opened the box itself so I wouldn't have to do that on the camera. But let's get these out and look at them. So I myself have not looked at them yet. And yes, Lisa can get them out of the box, I promise. There we go. All right, maybe I should have uh, taken them out of here too. Huh? Now, I do have, let me get this out of here first. I do have already, I bought quite a while ago, their set of skin tones. And I don't know if I showed these on my channel yet. So we're going to swatch out both sets. And we are going to see if anything is the same within them. You see they come in nice plastic cases with carrying handles. And let's take a look at this one that they sent me. Whoops, the cover does evidently come completely off of them both. I am assuming. Oh, pull down Lisa, pull down. Okay. And then there is, oh, I thought there was a grid inside, but I guess not. I was thinking there was, but Okay, this one is split in two. We'll see if this one is or not. Um, but yeah, this one is split into sections, four sections, so they don't flop all over. So we'll see what this is. This must be divided. Yeah, th this one is in four sections also. So what I did, I created a, a little color sheet like I always do. And I just am keeping the top part for the set of 48, which they sent me. There is also a set of 80. And I will link all three sets down below in the description. So the skin tone set, the set of 48 that they sent me, and then there is a set of 80. I don't think the 80 comes in the plastic case. I think it comes in the black canvas case, if I read right. Um, so we're going to swatch the 48 up here. And then the skin tone set will go down below because that way I have the color chart all created. Um, I always like to encompass in my color chart both sets into one. Whether I ever get the 80 set, I don't know. Um, but I just figured we'd swatch them together on here. So as I usually do, I'm just going to pull what looks to be the lightest to the darkest going from you know my typical yellow orange red pink so let's start i'm gonna pull what looks to be the lightest yellow and we'll take a little bit closer look at the marker itself so it does say artify art marker there is a broad tip so you get your chisel tip And then a brush tip. <laughs> and it looks to be like your typical brush that we see coming out on a lot of our more budget friendly markers. Now I'm not sure. Yeah, the set that I bought of the skin tones, like I said, it was quite a while ago. So I have the broad and the fine tip. So this, my set does not have a brush tip. Darn. I wish it did. I just thought of that. Um, I think the skin tones that are out now um, are the brush tip. So if it is a brush, that's the, the link that I'll leave down below is to the brush markers. Um, if they only have the chisel and the fine tip, that's what I'll link down below too. But I would think if they have this set in the brush tips that they would have the skin tone in the brush tips also. So, okay. On the end caps, you see the color number. There is no name. They are triangular in shape. So I like that shape. 
um, to me it's comfortable in my hand and it prevents them from rolling, which is nice. I would rather have this shape and you know to help prevent it from rolling rather than the round um, markers and then have that little knobby on the ends to keep it from rolling. Because if you put your alcohol markers or any markers for that matter in a marker case that have those little knobbies on the caps to keep them from rolling. It's really a problem getting them in and out of those loops. And if you have done this, you kind of know what I'm talking about. So I really like when they make them in the triangular shape and do without putting a knobby, <laughs> a little plastic piece on the end to keep it from rolling, if you know what I mean. So this one, let me grab my pen. And there is no color name, so I'm just going to write the number in here. I'll have to change this color chart. I wasn't sure if they had a name. So this one is Y204. And then we'll just swatch over here. Now, let's see what this brush tip feels like. If it is like my Ohuhu's, I love, love, love that brush tip. It is a little bit more firm, but yet it's springy, kind of like the Copic. Um, of course, nothing compares to the Copic <laughs> brush tip. Oh, this is a nice, this is nice. This feels very similar to the Ohuhu's. Yes, okay. Let's go to another yellow. This looks to be a bright yellow, Y107. And we'll see for a set of 48 what their color selection is like. Okay, now this one, according to the caps, looked darker and brighter than the first one. But as you can see, it isn't. The second one is actually lighter. So again, cannot go by the colors on the caps, right? Must swatch. <laughs> okay. We do have a colorless blender in here. So there are actually 47 colors um, and one colorless blender. Let's go to some of the really pale. I don't know if this is almost looks like it has maybe a greenish tinge to it. I don't know. We'll find out. Y000. Zero, zero, zero. Or if it's just a real pale yellow. Yes. It is just a really pale yellow. Um, one moment. All right. Where were we? <laughs> Oh yeah, I was going to go to some of the lighter colors. Um, let's go to, let's go to the oranges. We'll, we'll go in the order. Um, let's see. Ooh, we have Y505. Ooh, that's a pretty bright orange. And we have Y906. A nice red orange. Come out. We have R105. I do like these plastic cases much better than those cloth ones. R107. These very much remind me of the Ohuhu's. That's a pretty red. We have R218. Nice dark red. Okay, let's go to 
the light colors will go into the pink. So here we have Y900. Now this may be a real pale pink. This is a skin tone with the Y in front of there. I wasn't sure, but so yeah, we'll get into the light pinks. R302. So we'll see if this Y900 is in the skin tones also. Pretty bright or light pink. R502. And you can always tell which is the brush tip. And I like it when they do that because it has the gray band versus the other end that doesn't. So yeah, you always know where your brush tip is. That is pretty. R304. Oh, I like that. R605. Oh, that's pretty too. Oh, I love the selection of pinks in here. Okay, that's all for the pinks. We're going to go on to the purples. R503. Now you can tell the beginning letter kind of corresponds to the color family, but as far as the numbers themselves, I don't know if there's any heads or tails <laughs> out of, you know, trying to figure out their, their numbering system, just like all of the other budget, you know, friendly marker sets, um, you know, things of that nature. The coloring system, numbering system typically does not make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> I don't know if there is a reason for their numbers, but R703. So the 503 was actually another pink. Beautiful. Light purple. Ooh, this one I love. R706. That one's a pretty deep purple, R807. Oh, isn't that pretty? <laughs> All right, let's go into the blues then. We have B003. Pretty sky blue. We have B201. Oh, that's pretty. Having a nice real pale blue always comes in handy, doesn't it? We'll go on to B714. Ooh, much darker than I thought it was going to be, but oh, is that a pretty color? B016. That's pretty. Let's see. Turn it the right way. B205. Love that color. <laughs> B028. Wow, much darker than I thought. That's a nice midnight blue though. And some of the smaller sets don't always come with a real dark blue, so that's nice. B227. That's 
pretty too. So far, none of the colors are the same at all. <laughs> the closest too would be these two pinks, but they're very, they're definitely different pinks. So there is nothing, you know, that is being duplicated at all so far. So that is great. We have B635. Now this is definitely going to be on the greener side. I don't know if it's going to be like a, a teal. Oh, it's a dark green. Okay. All right, so let's go on to all the other greens. We have G702. And for a smaller set, there are a lot of greens. <laughs> We have that bright yellow green. G915. G825. Some pretty olive green colors. This would make a pretty blend, wouldn't it? G406. G615. So much easier to pick them out of these plastic cases quickly when you're swatching rather than those canvas bags. Just pop them right out of here. G225. And that they're divided into four compartments, you know, keeps them standing upright. G335. I wish the large set, the 80 set, would come in a plastic case also. And, oh no, we have one more after this. G127. And finally, we have... Not the, not the warm gray. We have G554. Which is a deep olive green. Or an army green. Now this one I miss. This is a deep red. R338. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, so it's even a darker shade than this one. So you do have a nice deep, deep red. All right, let's go into the earth tones. Not quite sure what color this one is going to be. It is Y234. So it, according to them, is in the yellow family. But I'm thinking it might be like a yellow brown. Yes. Y423. Oh, that's pretty. I like that color. Y826. These numbers are nice and easy to read on these caps too. Sometimes they'll they'll have most of them in black, but then every once in a while they'll throw one in with white on there and it's hard to read. Um, I can see them doing that in instances, you know, where the color starts getting darker. You know, you wouldn't want it in black, you would want it, you know, in white. But every once in a while I'd run across one where it is in white and it's not that it's not dark enough to put the lettering in white, so then it's it's hard 
to read. Okay, one more earth tone. Y648. Nice dark brown. Um, but no real dark brown. That was the last earth tone. So no real dark brown in this set. Now we go on to the grays. And we only have a couple warm grays and three cool grays. So YG, YG, WG01. So warm gray 01. And in a set of 48, I wouldn't want more than just a few grays, right? And then we have warm gray three. All right, Lisa. Warm gray zero three. And then three cool grays. So we have cool gray two. I think most of us that use grays, especially for shading, I think a lot of times use, you know, we reach for the cool grays more, but I guess it depends on what you're coloring. This is cool gray six. You may need the warm undertones too. And finally, cool gray eight. I'm assuming then the 80 set would be filling in some of these additional grays. And there are actually two colorless blenders. I wish companies would not do that. <laughs> you know, I, I would rather have them give us an additional color rather than extra colorless blenders. Um, matter of fact, I wish a lot of sets wouldn't include a colorless blender at all because most of us have so many of these. You get so many with all your sets of markers and they end up sitting there for the most part. Um, and then we have S, which is a word black. Okay, so instead of 48, we do only have the 46 colors. So I'm gonna put these back and then we are going to swatch out the skin tones. Okay, so now we're gonna swatch out this um, 24 set of skin tones. So again, I'm gonna start with the yellows. Now, this says G. So again, I don't know if this is gonna be a pale green, but let's try it anyhow. G902. Oh, that's right. This time, uh, the gray band is for your fine tip, so I'm gonna go with the chisels. And it is like a very pale yellow green. Then we have Y204. So much prefer those brush tips. <laughs> Let's go into the oranges. We have Y503. I am assuming that if there are a brush tip skin tone set that they, even if they're brush tip, that they'll be the same color as these. I know, never assume though, right? Now these are not triangular. These are the round barrels with those little knobbies <laughs> on the end so I never did put these in a case um, number one it was only set at 24 number two yeah I just kind of drives me crazy why 505 so I am hoping that their updated skin tone set or hopefully updated is in the triangular body We have Y713. Hmm, that's all of the yellows and oranges. We do have a couple on the reddish side. R, 
105. And I do see an R105 in the 48 set, so this is a duplicate. Haven't been looking at all of them, but we'll see when we go back through it. R107, whoops. When I decided to swatch the skin tones in addition to the 48 set that they bought me, I was thinking they were both either brush tip or both chisel tips. I didn't realize one was going to be one and one was going to be the other. So I am hoping that if the skin tone set has been updated, it is the same skin tones so that I can let you know if there are duplicates. So if it has changed um, and there aren't as many duplicates between the skin tone set and the 48 set, I'll let you know down in the description below. Okay. Or I'll pin a comment or something to the uh, that effect. All right, let's do this one. Y900. Looks to be a very pale pink or a skin tone. Yes, it is. Oh, I should have known that because, yeah, that again is in the 48 set. <laughs> okay, R502, so this will be good to know if you get the 48 set or the 80 set whether you need the skin tone set in addition, R302. So yeah, I'll let you know either way down in the description whether the new skin tone set is brush tip and whether the colors have changed or stayed the same. R213. And we have R304. Kind of Odd colors to have as a skin tone set, right? I'm almost sure this was. I'll have to look before I put this video up. I'll look like a fool if it's just a plain 24 set and not their skin tone set. I'm almost sure it was though. R702. Now the purples I can understand because you can use, you know, the purples as undertones for shading for on faces. R614. And the reds and pinks, of course, you know, you can use for blush and things like that. All right, so just a few more to go here. We go into the more of the skin tones, the darker skin tones, Y611. Y000, oh, that was that real light yellow. I remember that. But it could be a real pale now that I look at it here, it could be a real pale tan, too. Y211. Whoops. Y423. I like that color. And we have Y529. Oh, I like that too. Y826. And 
Y934. One moment, I'll be right. All right, so many interruptions. Sorry about that. We have Y976. Aha, we have a nice dark brown in this set. I know that wasn't in the 48. <laughs> then, of course, you do get another colorless blender and our black. It's always nice to have extra blacks. All right, so let's go through. Let's see what is the same and what is different. So we have G902. Matter of fact, why don't I, I'm going to pause that again. I'm going to go through. I'm going to mark which ones are duplicated so we don't have to sit here and take the time to do it. So again, I'll be right back. Okay, this is what I came up with. We do have a number of duplicates, but we do have some new colors. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten new colors in the 24 set. So we do have a pale yellow that's new. We do have another orange, kind of a reddish orange. We do have an additional pink, two new purples that are not in the 48 set. We do have this really nice light tan and this really nice light tan. And then these two additional browns, including that dark, dark brown. So, oh, this one is a repeat too, of course. So let's zoom back out a little bit. So I guess you would have to determine you know, I guess I don't gotta zoom out that much. Whether you would want both sets or not. Um, with 24 colors in the skin tones, 14 of them are duplicates, 10 of them are new. The ones that are new are very nice. Um, however, it would be nice if they did something like Artix, where their skin tone set is completely different than their other sets. Um, but they do have some nice additions in there. So there you have it. I don't see any duplicates of colors in either set, which is phenomenal. Again, it is a smaller set, so I was really hoping not. Some of these get a little close, but not real close. You know, they're, they're all different. So they are very, very nice. Again, the brush tips in the 48 set are very nice. I like them. Um, so yeah, they do remind me of the Ohuhu brush tips. So those would be a nice addition. So again, I will link the 48 set, the skin tone set, and the 80 set down below in the description. And if they are all brush tips, I will put the brush tip uh, links down there. And again, I will indicate in the description um, if the skin tone set that I link is identical to the chisel tips that I swatched out here so that you know if the colors are the same as what I swatched here where you have just the 10 new colors I'll let you know that in the description either way so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed the swatching of these markers by Artify and thank you so much to Artify for sending me the set of 48 to show on my channel. If you enjoyed the swatching, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys. Sorry, guys. I had to come back and update you. It was kind of bugging me that... Uh, I had the old set of the skin tones. You can't even get these chisel tips anymore in the skin tone set. So I did go ahead and I purchased the brush tip. The skin tone set, it's 24 set in the brush tips. And yeah, they have totally changed the colors. So I wanted to just put this addendum out there so that you are aware of what has changed. Remember how when I 
just swatched these out, kind of the odd colors that they all had for skin tones, you know, in a skin tone set. Well, and there were quite a few duplicates. This is the skin tone set now, and we have some beautiful skin tones. So I have all the Y's over here, and then all the R's over here. Then we do have black, which they now call SS instead of just S. I'm not sure why. And then we do have the blender again. But other than those two, there are only three that are in this 48 set. There is one of the Y color, so it's a brown, and then two of the pinks. But those three colors, besides the black and the colorless blender, that are in the 48 set. Now, I'm not sure about the larger sets because I just have this set. Um, but, yeah, oh, what an improvement on their skin tones, huh? Just beautiful. So again, this brush tip skin tone set is what will be linked down in the description below. But yeah, I just wanted to come back on and show you. I, I didn't want to mislead you with the prior skin tone set um, because yeah, that is no longer available. They have updated it and it is tremendously better. So, well, now I will say goodbye, <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, this update. So, bye. <laughs>